he addressed graduates at Miami-Dade College on Saturday and called for immigration reform, saying, quote, we have to act to take 11 million people out of the shadows, and pointing out that, quote, things are changing for the better. He was referring to a new law approved by the Florida legislature last week, granting in-state tuition to children of some undocumented immigrants, something former Florida governor and potential 2016 contender Jeb Bush supports. Bush used the occasion to slam Washington lawmakers, writing, quote, Florida succeeded in doing what the federal government has failed to do, take real steps to address our nation's serious immigration challenges. Over 10 months after the Senate overwhelmingly passed bipartisan immigration reform, House Republicans have failed to act. Why, you ask? Well, they have something the nonpartisan Cook Political Report calls an incentive problem. Last year, that group analyzed that, quote, just 24 House Republicans, I'm sorry, 24 percent of House Republicans represent a district where the Latino population is 25 percent or higher. As the window narrows for passing immigration reform before these midterm elections, will the Republican-led House act? Let's act Califor ask California Congressman Tony Cardenas, the first Latino elected to represent the San Fernando Valley in Congress, who wrote this op-ed calling for urgently needed fixes to our broken immigration system. Thank you so much, sir, for joining. Uh, today, Vice President Joe Biden told Speaker Boehner, quote, stand up to your base who opposes immigration reform. What obstacles stand in the way to achieving that? The obstacle is having the debate on the floor. And yes, it's Speaker Boehner who refuses to listen to the majority of his caucus and actually do the right thing. And let's have the debate. Let's have the vote on comprehensive immigration reform. I've tried to do that. I actually put an amendment in the budget committee and it went down on bipartisan vote. 21 Republicans voted no, 15 mm -hmm. Democrats voted yes, and the budget chairman, uh, Paul Ryan, voted no as well. And Congressman, if comprehensive reform doesn't happen, could the White House act unilaterally on this? Is this a subject that's appropriate for executive action? The White House can only act on, in piecemeal, little tiny pieces like, for example, uh, when they talk about the Dreamers, the president took mm -hmm. action on that. But when you talk about unleashing our economy and helping 11 million people find a place and come out of the shadows, only comprehensive immigration reform and only Congress can do that. The Senate did it. Our House is unwilling to have the debate. Our Republican leadership is not willing to have the debate. At Vice President's commencement speech in Florida that we referred to, one person actually got up and yelled, stop the deportations. How big an issue is this for the administration politically? The deportations, they're at record numbers. Uh, George W. Bush, who uh, in, in his own way tried mm -hmm. to get the debate on comprehensive immigration reform to and through Congress, it didn't happen. But at the same time, we have a president right now who's deporting at unprecedented numbers. And that's not helping our economy. That's hurting communities, American uh, households, and also undocumented households. Right. The head of La Raza, the Latino group, actually called him the deporter in chief. What do you think of that charge? Well, I think that she was angry and upset, and, I, and, and there's a lot of people who feel that way. But then again, I'm not an activist. I'm a legislator. So I focus on what can I do as an elected official. I tried to get the first and got the first vote on comprehensive immigration reform in our House, and it went down on a 21 Republican no vote. And then also I put a, a, an amendment into the Rules Committee, and I got to say, the Republican Congresswoman Roth Latham from Florida, she would put her vote where her rhetoric is. She said she supports comprehensive immigration mm -hmm. reform, and she was the only Republican to vote yes. So every chance that I get as a legislator, I'm going to do what I can to make sure that we have mm -hmm. a vote on comprehensive immigration reform, whether it's in a committee, whether it's in the budget process, and I hope and pray that we have it on the floor. If we have it on the floor, I think it passes. And given the gridlock in Washington over this and the inability of the White House to do much more just as a practical matter than that piece meal set of solutions you talked about. What role do you think states can play? Well, states, uh, again, states can do piecemeal. States can go ahead and make sure that uh, what they do at the local level with local law enforcement, at, like here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. they don't ask people for their papers. They'll ask you for your driver's license, they'll give you a ticket or what have you, but they won't be asking you like if they were a federal immigration officer. All right. Congressman Tony Cardenas, thank you so much for your time and thank, thank you for you. your work on this issue. Thanks for covering a great issue. So we've set up the problem.